Okay, let's talk about the Chapter 8 three-dot problems. Um, there are two of them, one in each set. Number 37, which is a sneaky problem, has a not sneaky solution, but let's look at the calc solution for a second. And 65, which is in the second set and really shouldn't be a three-dot problem. But whatever, I'll try to be a good teacher and actually do this this time. So 37 asks, if I have a rope, and this rope is attached to the ceiling, and then it is released, and then one end is released at least, and it falls. All but one end is released, I guess, actually. And it falls, what is the change in energy? And so they suggest consider, uh, let me get the wording of this right, do they say, consider a differential slice or an infinitesimal slice of the chord and then use integral calculus. So, basically what we're saying is we're going to take some small chunk of this chord, call it dm, and we're going to say, what is the change in energy for this little chunk dm? What is the de for this little dm? Knowing very well that the actual change in the actual change in energy e will be the integral of all of these little changes in energy which will be the integral of this where i'm now shifting from integrating so this is the change in energy of all of the chunk of each chunk is what i'm integrating over so much writing and so this is integral of o over all chunks. And now I'm just rephrasing this. One way to look at this is basically that the, uh, the energy for a chunk looks like mgh. And so the little chunk of energy is the little mass. That's how I'm chunking this. Now the problem is this needs to be in terms of coordinates. I can't just integrate respect to m in this context. It doesn't, technically speaking, make sense. So, if I break this up, so dm, this thing is constant linear mass, so I know that the total mass over the total length will be the little mass over the little length. So, um, dm will equal m over l dx. We will sometimes call m over l lambda. Lambda for linear mass oh, density. I should point out, incidentally, if you're curious, lambda is a linear density. In this case, it's mass. Sometimes it is charge. Sigma is a surface density. So if it's smeared out over a surface instead of a line. And rho is a volume density which you would think is kind of the end only density, but what are you going to do? Lambda, lambda, sigma, rho. Should make Greek life easier for you. So anyway, back to this. Um, so this is good. Now the only trick is to put h in terms of this. And so now if I look at this, let's say that this, uh, in some bizarre thing, I'm going to take this point and it will be x equals zero. This point will be x equals l because I like doing things backwards. And what are we going to do? And this point right here in the middle, I'm just going to say is x equals x. You notice this point is still x equals l. So this point is x equals x, which means that h is just going to be x. It's the position of where we are on the line. OK, hopefully that is more than enough. By the way, if you, need, if you feel like you need less information, feel free to pause this. Let us now consider 65. 65 is basically saying I have an object. And this object is released from rest on a smooth ramp, goes down over a rough surface, and it's all like bumpy, 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 or frictiony, 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 or whatever. It goes up a smooth thing. And it keeps doing this again and again and again and again, and eventually it stops somewhere. And they want to know where does it stop. So if the object stops, it no longer has mechanical energy. When I say mechanical energy, uh, we're talking kinetic, gravitational potential, elastic potential. Those are our basic kinds of mechanical energy. Ener the kind of due to macroscopic configuration uh, that are conservative you know, potentials, basically. You can do nice things with it. 
Anyway, so if it stops, it no longer has any mechanical energy. All the, use, all the useful energy is gone. So where did it go? It starts with potential energy here, but when it stops, that potential energy is gone, that kinetic energy is gone, had to go somewhere. If only there were something that were responsible for dissipating energy. Anyway, hopefully this will get you started. Good luck.